Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to this tutorial on Linux again. And in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to make Ubuntu look like Vista. I know some people out there hate Vista, but I also hate Vista. But if people out there like the skin of Vista, fine with you. If you do not like this video, please do not rate it down. Just close the video if you do not like Vista on the skin on Ubuntu. But I like to because Ubuntu seems kind of plain to me. Because I just got this original skin they got. Which is this one, human, which is this. I don't really like it that much, but, you know, it's just their theme. It's pretty alright. At least it doesn't slow down the PC. But when you put this theme on Ubuntu, it does not slow down your PC. Ubuntu is completely uh, customizable. You can do many things on it. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make Ubuntu look like Vista. Um, I, there's another one for Windows 7 to look like I mean, Ubuntu to look like Windows 7, but that's for Ubuntu 9.04. Um, I don't really know how to do it because it's kind of difficult for me. So, to get your computer to look like Vista, things you will need before you install the themes like these. So, first, we're going to need uh, GTK, what's that called? Theme stuff. Uh, let me just go to Applications. Go to Applications, Add slash Remove. And then once this opens up, just wait for this. Under show, put that to all available applications. Click on all over here. And in the search bar, put in GTK theme. And you should see GTK dash CH theme. Check mark that box next to it. Click on apply changes. And click on apply. Put in your password. Downloading packages should be instant. Installing software. It should be done. And you're good. Just click on close over here. It should automatically close. Add slash remove. Now go to system. Preferences. I mean uh, administration. And then synaptic package manager. This should open up. Make sure you close add slash remove. Um, you can just close this. Just close. And then after that, click on Search in Synaptic Package Manager. And in the search bar here, we're going to have to put in Emerald. And there, you should load this. And then you'll see Emerald. So just check around that box next to it. Mark for installation. Click on that and then mark for installation. Click on Mark. Uh, make sure to check mark this one also. These, just take a quick look at it, pause the video okay you got it okay now once you got those click on apply there's only three by the way apply and click on apply again if this window pops up showing summary downloading package files installing software and it should be done click on close and you can close Synaptic Package Manager. So that's about it. Things you will need, that's about it. So once you got everything that I just said uh, two minutes ago, you have to download these four files. I'll put them in the description in a zip archive in a uh, website Mega Upload. So just download it there. I'll post it in the description. Save it onto your desktop on Ubuntu. And then you should extract it. Right click on it. Then extract here with Ubuntu and extract the four files. After you've done that, the first thing we're going to do is 71425. Let me just rename this. Vesta start menu for Ubuntu. Any version. Let me check if it will accept it. There. Okay. Now, when you get this one, when you first uh, get this one, right click on it and click on extract here. This file. Now say beta release 1.0.8. Double click on the folder. This window should pop up. Click here to install me. This one right here, the terminal. So just double click on it. Click on run in terminal. Make sure to close your add slash remove and synaptic package manager. Now it'll ask for your password. Just type in. Oops. Huh. Type in your password, my bad. So once you've done that, it should be instant and she'll close terminal. Now, 
at your taskbar down here if you don't have it and you removed it just right click up here and click on new panel and you should add it back down here after you've done that you can remove the show desktop icon but I'm not so I'm just gonna right click on it lock to panel uh, check mark that and uncheck this one and move it down and move this now right click on an empty spot on the bottom left for like Vista the start menu so right click on the empty spot on the way left bottom left and click on add to panel now find an item to add to the panel over here in the search bar put in Vista and you see Vista menu right here customizable start menu for genome desktop click on add after you see that and it, by default it's gonna be the Windows XP start menu just the icon down here but it's like Vista here so what you gotta do with welcome to Vista menu 1.08 beta uh, once this window opens up automatically click on theme and then the style just leave that alone menu theme Vista icon theme put that to Vista but if you want new styles which is like these kind of icons they're kind of different you can leave it to that but I'm just gonna switch mine to Vesta your panel button switch that to Vesta or Ubuntu if you want the icon to be like Ubuntu because I hate Vesta so Ubuntu and classic just leave that if you want to animate it go ahead desktop integration um, just check mark everything here if you have a good graphics card advanced just leave this alone click on OK it shouldn't change if it does automatically good for you but if it doesn't change to the Vesta start menu or orb it's down here right click on it again remove from the panel right click again add to panel search in Vesta you should see it there click on add now it's the Vesta orb but I, this one is replaced with the Ubuntu so it's transparent as you guys should see because I enabled it so it's transparent too transparent a bit is too much because look over here you can see right here when it's supposed to be on this part only hmm yeah and then you get to search down here search just search whatever uh, wine I got wine um, GTK it's pretty fast faster than the Vesta start menu unless you have a fast PC and after you install the Vesta start menu for Ubuntu that's about it right there just close this and you can close this delete the beta release folder you don't really need it anymore now the next thing we gotta do is installing the theme of Windows Vesta let me just change this back to my own okay now what you have to do is at the bottom right of your taskbar down here and up here of your panel right click on empty spot click on properties now over here set the size on general tab to 32 pixels so it can be big not too big but uh, so it can look like the Windows Vista start menu close do the same thing up here set it to 32 pixels the default is 24 but set it to 32 you can put on auto hide if you want but it's kinda slow when it's on auto hide which I don't like see it auto hides I hover my mouse takes a while take it out two seconds then it hovers up that's what I don't like about it, it takes too long and I, I'm a fast clicker as you guys are seeing I move fast on the PC I am not an addicted I'm not addicted to the PC I am athletic and I do not do this all the time it's summer and I got something to do which is make videos for YouTube so anyways back to the subject to install the theme of Windows Vista after you set the, the panels to the biggest size to 32 pixels right click on your desktop click on change desktop background 